fairy friends we are making a wig today for our 18 inch doll and she looks a little bit strange because she has a sock over her face you can see her silhouette there um, if your eyes are uh, the sleep eyes you want to make sure that you have it laying flat when you go to put the sock over so you're not um, pushing up the eye eyelashes and I'm going to keep it like this until I'm done and then I will go ahead and cut away um, the excess but what you'll need for this is a like I said a thin um, sock and I've used um, a, a booty type sock or ankle sock You'll need a uh, thread to uh, match your uh, yarn color. And pr uh, you'll probably want to make sure that whatever color uh, wig that you're doing, um, you'll want to get uh, a color sock that won't show as much. So for a very dark color, um, like black, you would want a black sock underneath. If you're doing a brown, um, try to find like a a tan um, as dark as you can that matches and then you'll also need some yarn and I've put it in this little uh, goldfish bowl um, because I feel like that keeps it um, from rolling around as I'm pulling it um, what I will be doing first is and I'm explaining it now because I'm going to do it in time-lapse because the process could get a little bit long if I do it all you know in real time what I'm going to do is follow where I feel her old hair plugs and follow that hairline around and I'm going to stitch this down then I'm going to go around again in a spiraling pattern um, and just keep wrapping and sewing that way I can um, stitch on the uh, hair lock. Okay, now you see that I've gone back through and made the spirals um, a little bit, the rows a little bit um, closer together. So I basically, I doubled the rows. If you took your time with it and made sure that these were evenly spaced and far enough apart, then you could um, get your uh, crochet hook through all of them. Now this looks like the smallest one I'm gonna be able to get it through. But never to fear if for some reason, I mean, maybe this is a good thing to show. If um, you can't um, get the crochet through, um, you can sew it. Um, and what I would do, let's see, I said to cut more than you would need. And make a knot. And then where it's folded here in half or doubled over, then I'm just going to get that all in there. And you know, you might, it just all depends on the look that you're wanting. You might want this first row um, to not have that bulk there. So you might prefer to maybe do the first uh, row this way. What I will suggest is, and I'll show you when I get to the end, when we get to the crown, probably needs to lay flat um, to look 
um, realistic and not bulky. So these right here will get covered up, like I said, with the next row. And that'll give it um, some much needed volume so that it doesn't look like we just, you know, put some yarn, you know, laid some yarn on top of the doll. So what I'm going to do is pull the hair uh, strands back that we've done already. And we are going to cut around the hairline. I'm choosing to use a hot glue gun um, to put this on. You could keep it so that it's um, like a regular wig that can be taken off. Or you could use stream glue. It says strongest glue. I don't know about all that, but it seems to stick faster. It still needs to dry. It'll need to dry overnight. Um, and you'll probably want it to, if you go ahead to use this, you want to let it dry overnight before you start fooling with this. Because otherwise you'll be pulling it away and you'll just have a big mess. So how I'm showing you is what you would need to do if you're using a hot glue gun. Okay, because I can just use my hot glue gun and then I can immediately go to finishing attaching the hair onto the wig cap that we've made. And I want it to be just, I'm not going all the way up. I want it to be enough material away from the actual first row. Because as you can see, it's pulling and gathering. So what I'm going to do is, and since this isn't a reroute, I did not pull out every little last bit of the hair, but I don't want it to be showing. So if there's any longer bits, I want to hide those. Okay, everybody. Um, I wasn't filming, <laughs> and I thought that I was. Basically, I'll just show you with the glue gun, but I'm not actually doing it. Um, the, where I had cut back the sock, I just put, well, actually I can show you a little one right here. You'll probably want to go back through and check if you go to do it this way. Oh, did I bump the thing out of focus? There, there we go. Um, I went around, oop, got glue. That's the only problem with using the glue gun is you got the spider webs. Um, went all the way around, um, you saw me cutting it, I went all the way around and glued uh, down the wig cap. So, and now I'm going to finish putting in the first row, and I'm just doubling it to make sure I'm in frame here. And some of them, you don't have to grab it with this. You could just make the loop. Now there's one of my hairs in it. Uh, this is actually big enough for two to put in. Now I've cut lengths already. See, and I want to have it doubled. And you pull it through. And then here's the hook. You turn it like this so it doesn't hook on to that one. You turn the hook like this and then you can just pull it through like that and then I'm going to go ahead and do this whole row here I don't need I'm gonna do. Oops, I'm gonna tear up my workroom. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get some tape. Cause that's gonna drive me nuts. We don't want to, when we're locking in our little um, braids here, 
we don't need that under there because that'll be peeking through and that's just debris from my table i love that that is going to fill in really nicely and so i can lay it down flat like that and i'm not really sure i think i'm gonna have to put a little line of glue there i think i had already indicated that I would be doing that. And we are seeing that. Okay, I'm gonna put a little line of glue there. And then I'm going to, off camera, I'm gonna go all the way around in my spirals and then I'll show you her finished. And of course she'll need, uh, she'll need her clothing and everything. So that won't be for this video. This is just for the wig are making and then I'm just gonna hold it like this if you are under 18 um, please get an adult super uh, an adult permission to be using a hot glue gun if you're watching this because the hot glue gun can burn you it, it can cause severe burn I think I've used up a lot of extra yarn but it's better to keep have it long like that and then trim it to how you want um, than to have it short. So anyway, there it is all the way around for that first row. And I'll just go all the way around with my crochet hook. And we will be getting her beautiful and get her all done. I think she's already looking pretty happy already with her hair which I'm going to go ahead and do now just want to make sure all of these are going in the right direction go back a little lady okay there's that See, this is the fun part, the haircut part. So if you carefully, very, very carefully trimmed these um, yarn to the correct length, then you wouldn't have to trim right now. Well, you probably still have to trim because it's not... It's still kind of like how hair really grows. It's going around on the scalp. So you probably would still need to trim it, but maybe not waste so much of it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, let me get my bands here. And guess what, I don't have any black ones. I could sew in her style and I could use yarn as well. But I don't want to sew it in because because I don't I don't want to be committed to a certain style. There's her one side, and oh, that's gonna oop. see about another black band, which. I think I don't have. I think I only have the dark blue, but I don't I think that's gotta be a problem because I can tie a ribbon or something in it. I don't know, I kind of like with one one of these away and one down. Okay everybody, her hair. <laughs> It's finally done. Yes. You can't say I got skimpy on her hair. Let's put her glasses back on. Because I wanted to really give her her very own personality. And I think, there we go. We don't want the hair to be so outrageously full as to not look realistic. See, take some from back here and pull back 
like so. And that gives her, yeah, another little uh, texture there. You know, I might have gone. If anybody wants to complain and, and say I perhaps went a little overboard on um, her hair here, then you know what? I'm not going to argue with you because I, I wouldn't disagree with you. But better... And I am going to change these elastic to black ones because I don't just think the black would look better. There. There. So she needs her hair even more uh, farther back away from her face. Then she's got that. And then obviously you could do some bigger braids. Um, I'm still trying to collapse down some of the fullness here. I think in time that will... Um, get a little bit more manageable so maybe it's best that there is this fullness here starting off with there we go well what do you guys think be honest obviously I can still style it in different ways uh, maybe put some beads in um, also, the uh, colored uh, clip-in braids for fun to match different outfits. Well, when you see her again, then she will not just have her tennis shoes on her cute little tinnies. She will have um, her clothes.